Hi Aquarius, this is this is a weekly reading um, going from October 27th through November 2nd, 2019. Okay, so October 27th through November 2nd, 2019. Thank you for being here. Um, I've already pulled a few cards for love and romance, career and finance, just for the sake of time. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so for love and romance, what we have is the world. Temperance. Two majors. At the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. So we have three majors. You need to you might need to forgive yourself or others around you. There's an air of releasing uh, preconceived notions either about you or about a person or about relationships or about what uh, relationships are about. This is like the opportunity to be strong, to dig deep, um, to to release harshness here. Also, it's about whatever convictions you have that might need to be if they're if they are are founded on uh, being fair and 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 right. Then yes, yeah, stand true to your convictions. But if you are convicted to the fact that, you know, maybe some negative, you know, aspect of relationship and, and uh, intimacy and sexual relationship, if you have some negativity stored up from previous, maybe toxic relationship, then you, you might need to start to release all of those, that negative mental energy. Um think about the message that you're sending also what do you want to relate to maybe someone who's interested in you or what can you do to help move or further a relationship by way of tame either taming yourself or um You've kind of shaped and molded and tamed your, your mental in regards to relationships. So it might need to be some reshaping here. It says that you the world is here. You've come into a place of maturity, understanding, of knowing, of life lesson here. You've gotten a lesson. You can now go into a more fruitful, beneficial relationship. It could be with a Leo. It could be with a fixed sign, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Aquarius like yourself the temperance card is here it's directly the temperance card is directly connected to the king of cups or someone that could be in love or not showing a lot of emotion knowing when to you know draw on certain emotions they are the master of their own emotions um, or it could just be a Sagittarius here it says that there might be uh, a compromise or need to compromise or coming together or want to salvage a relationship maybe with someone who you feel like you have the perfect dynamic with the perfect mixture it's going to this is calling for you to draw on at any given time your masculine side then your feminine know when to pick and choose your battles here um, moderation is, is is called if you're being too aggressive if you're being overly protective of yourself your heart uh, vulnerability you're gonna have to release you're gonna have to relinquish that you're gonna have to have compromise in dealing with that something about how you have this stored up preconceived notion about relationship intimacy sex all of that merging your life with someone else's you have to really drill down on what your issues are and the cards say that you know what they are because you've come into a place of knowing here the shells that you have are blessings nice this was a, it's like you you've, you come into an, an initiation of what you want is coming toward you or is already here for you for some of you uh, you just need to learn how to shape and mold your mental um, get it in control of those negative thoughts recreate maybe a connection here 
I miss you. Wow, you have I miss you and blessings. So there may be someone coming back. There may be a full circle. Maybe you guys have been away from from each other for one year. Maybe a little over a year. There's a cycle that needed to complete either with you or someone else. They miss you. They they bring good tidings, <laughs> blessings, right? Good news. Um, but it's going to be for you to reshape, remold, forgive harsh judgment either toward them or, or vice versa, you or both of you. Okay? It's going to be need for you to compromise, moderation. All right, so for career and finance, you have at the bottom of the deck the Hermit card. Let's go into this, the Dreamer. Very nice. The Nine of Air. Some of you are at a place of, you're right on the brink of, you're right on the brink of ending, complete and utter ending, coming to a culmination of maybe some long-term goal fulfillment here. Some of you are at a place of thinking it's not going to happen, self-fulfilling negative prophecies um you're expecting the worst here something is keeping you up at night uh your your finances aren't where they need to be you don't see a way out there's a need for you to be the hermit understand that meditation for you will bring answers that you need to get under maybe some spiritual teaching maybe you are a spiritual teacher you're trying to figure out how do you shape mold remold reshape this hobby or this gift into uh, a life's profession how do you take care of yourself all of your other obligations um by way and, and still be able to have time energy effort or or to cultivate this into a business says that you're looking for answers with you know outside of yourself but the answers are within. As long as you're looking for answers outside of yourself, you'll always be looking. You'll always be searching. You'll always be um, in a place of the roundabout. Okay? So it says that you may just need to take some time and really sit with yourself and let those answers um, marinate in your soul so that you can then move forward and be the fool. Start over. Take a leap of faith. And follow your dreams because once you you buckle down and know that this is for you that maybe hard times are ending that you're right at the brink of something great then unexpected opportunities can open for you in your career and finance sector some of you just want to get out of get from under maybe uh, working for a corporation large entity some of you want to go back to school you want to learn you want to grow in your craft or you are doing just that um, but it's, it's a waiting game some of you this this career in finance is teaching you patience and is teaching you trust not just in yourself but in the universe okay the shells that you have are divorce all right so you you may either be going through an actual divorce uh, in the terms of being married or you may be divorcing one way of earning income trying to go into another you may be divorcing something, cutting away from uh, making decision. Uh, uh, so let's see, caring. You still care or is, there's an element of caring um, in regards to this ending. Let's see. Drama. There might be even an element of drama for some of you. Uh, and that's why you, you, you're at the Nine of Swords you're at a place of just not thinking it's going to happen for you not thinking it's it's here for you this is way too much drama but um you wouldn't have anything on you that you cannot bear just keep waking up just keep on waking up and see that if you if you just do what is necessary things will get better things are better uh continue to carry on in this journey because you're coming up as a fool you're going to completely start over some of you have lost everything or you are losing everything or something of that nature you're starting over you're taking a complete leap of faith a new direction a new development it feels like divorce it feels like a death some people say that divorce feels like a death so for some of you it's the death and the rebirth um 
of something new okay what we're going to do is go over to the website and drill down on uh, what the what the career and finance messages are then we're going to drill down on what the love and romance um, messages are also and it's always pennies on the dollar to get the extended read uh, make sure you click the link below i hope that you have a really good week take care guys